Hey everyone, Neil and I are so excited to give you an update on our progress last year with our ESG and 1% pledge efforts towards donating 1% of our product and 1% of our equity. We've worked with two sets of committees that have done amazing work all year long to direct funds towards organizations that are in line with our vision to democratize knowledge through education and our technology and have done an amazing um, amount of work building net new partnerships with those organizations. I'm proud to say that we've directed $350,000 of funds to those organizations and we're partnering beyond the check with many of them and have concrete volunteering opportunities for all those organizations. Neil, do you want to talk a little bit about what we've done on 1% of product? Yes. In December, we went live with our first ESG product at Alloprof. They're an organization that's bringing content to teachers, parents, and students to make education and, and access to that information really easy and fun. And we were able to deliver something that respected their brand and their design. It's really engaging with our headless and atomic products. So really excited about that. It's, it's such great work. In 2023, look for more from us, more opportunities to invest our current partnerships. We're going to make more opportunities available to you to share your skills with those organizations. And we're looking for other organizations that could benefit from our 1% product. So thanks all for your participation and look forward to a great year. Hi, so for the environmental uh, company in 2022, we had uh, three priorities. First, sustainable operation. So in order to reduce the carbon footprint, we need to assess it first. So right now we, we are in the process of getting the supplier and then sustainable workplace. So we focused on uh, waste management and then make sure our offices are as green as possible. And in 2023, we'll try to fix the bubbly situation. At the third priority in 2022, we also focused on employees enablement uh, in order to amplify the movement, amplify the green practices. So we hosted a few activities from the Earth Day Caput to the Advent Calendar on Slack. And we even had uh, an atelier in the offices on about how to decorate uh, the pumpkins uh, in a sustainable way. We also benefited from from the 1% equity pledge. So we supported two organizations in 2022. First, environmental defense, and secondly, World Wild Farm. So both are very, very complementary organizations fighting for the environment and sustainable development. So in total, uh, we're super happy to announce that we gave away approximately 30K Canadian dollars uh, in 2022. So that's it, thank you. On the 1% time pledge side, a lot has happened in 2022. So many of you were involved in facilitating a large amount of small but impactful volunteering events. In total, 1,761 hours were volunteered. In 2023, we'll double down on offering more opportunity to meet that 1% of our time pledge. We hope to see even more of you bringing colleagues together for different volunteering opportunities at organizations that are close to your heart. You can also expect quarterly opportunities together with Centre in Montreal and in Quebec. And the comedy was recently reinforced with London-based members as well. So keep an eye out there for opportunities as well. Additionally, we'll be expanding on skill-based volunteering opportunities where you can contribute with valuable skills to help a charity organization reach their goal. Did you, for instance, know that one hour of skill-based volunteering equals to an average of $195 per hour saved for that organization? Just imagine the difference that you can make. Happy to report on the Wellbeing Committee. So it's been a great year this year. We had to, of course, ramp up to the new functions that were uh, given to us, work along with the HR team, which has pretty much the same mandate, the well-being of our employees. So first of all, what we did is, uh, you know, we improved the physical uh, well-being offering by uh, doing new gym sessions in Quebec City and Montreal and offering remote sessions to uh, the entirety of employees. Then we renewed as well our partnership with Dialogue to offer better well-being support, uh, mental well-being support to all of our employees uh, across Canada and developed an offering in Europe as well and, and in the US. And last but not least, we actually partnered with Jeune en Tête, which is a foundation here in Quebec and Canada that supports uh, psychological well-being for young kids from 11 to 18. You know, um, on the inclusion side, it was our second year, right? So we started a bit before the ESG initiative. Um, so it was twofold, right? So we wanted to do things internally and also externally. Uh, so happy to report that we had several inclusion trainings that occurred during the year. 
Over 300 participants either listen live or on level up to those classes. We had initiative for the Black History Month, for the LGBTQ Month, and also for the International Women's Day. So those were all great success that we did externally and outside, right? So we were happy to sponsor three different organizations. So Interlink for LGBTQ, Society for Canadian Women in Science and Technology for Women in Tech, and lastly, Friends Association for Indigenous and we want to thank everyone that was involved in both committees. Thank you for your involvement and uh, for the great achievements.